Hello everyone, this is Dan from Cyber Vigilance, and welcome to part B of Caldera Adversary Emulation. I highly suggest that you watch part A as it covers everything walking through um, a blatantly malicious attack, but in this part we'll be conducting a more advanced threat hunting that requires the use of deep visibility and star configuration rules in Sentinel-1. There is an adversary in Caldera that we can emulate called Super Spy. This preset acts as an adversary that tries to gain reconnaissance using PowerShell scripts. Many APTs and threat groups in the real world use a similar workflow after gaining initial access to an infected enterprise. They usually take screenshots, gather network information, fingerprint harder ID, stuff like that. So let's say you want to block certain reconnaissance behaviors of this adversary. Let's do screen captures, for example. The indicator for screen captures within the MITRE framework is in collection, which is T1113. Now, Sentinel-1 doesn't actually mark screen captures as suspicious or malicious. It's usually seen as normal user behavior as it uses um, built-in Windows API calls. But that doesn't mean that you can't configure a type of rule to mark this as a specific behavior in the confidence level that you want. So let's say you want to see screen captures as suspicious behavior in the incidents tab. So we need to utilize deep visibility with custom star rules to flag the screen captures as suspicious. So I have my endpoint connected here. This is my Windows VM here, which I've got connected through Caldera. I'm going to go on to create operation, operation name, test one. And the adversary we're going to be choosing is Super Spy. And we'll start that. So the first module is actually a screen capture. So we can go through deep visibility and actually find this behavior. Also, we can see the exact script that's being used by the adversary. You could easily just flag this PowerShell script, but that wouldn't detect the actual behavior indicator that would be viewable in deep visibility. That's why it's important to find what TTPs are being triggered so you can recreate custom star rules for incident response. So the screen captures a success. Let's go into our management console. So we're going to head over to the, vi the visibility tab. And to find this specific behavior of the screen capture, we're going to find the TTP that is used um, by these adversaries. Well, the one that we're using is T1113. So the syntax we'll be using is indicator description contains, and then in quotation marks, T1113. I'll press enter. And here you go, you can see the root, the root uh, process Caldera actually triggering this behavior. So now we can see the indicators that are being triggered using the screen capture. We can head over to our st star custom rules. I press add new rule, rule name. Let's mark this as screen cap suspicious. This has permanent rule severity. I'd recommend putting it on critical, much higher priority. And we'll do the same syntax as we did last time. And we'll go next. So we'll treat it as a threat. And we're going to mark it as suspicious because it's not exactly malicious to take a screenshot. Actual safe applications do use Windows API calls for screen capture, which would trigger the same behavior. So I wouldn't mark it as malicious, especially if you're doing this in detect, uh, detect, protect, or protect, protect. And then activate rule immediately after saving. And the rule will be activating there. Can head back into our Caldera instance, so it's currently doing more reconnaissance. You can mark, you can find the behavior of all of these, of all of these modules and um, flag them yourselves. I'm just using screen captures as an example. So, we'll let this enable, um, and we'll we'll cut to the part where the the rules enabled, and we're going to rerun the super spy test again to show you how it shows up in the incidents tab. So the rule is now active. We're going to go back into our Caldera operations. I want to do the exact same adversary as last time. Let's create operation. Let's name this test2 adversary. We're going to move to super spy. And we'll start that. And screen capture is the first module, so it should, should show up in the incidents tab. And as you can see, the PowerShell process is marked as suspicious. And then you can see it's initiated by the custom rule that we created. Um, you can see the name here, screen cap. 
So in a real world scenario, you could imagine that you see a suspicious process in the incidents tab like this. Potentially someone is trying to take screenshots after initial access. Um, a big sort of pattern of behavior within hacking groups are initial access brokers. And what they'll do is they'll plant the initial access into an enterprise and sell that to other people or other hackers. Um, so you could actually block, not block, but you could you could flag flag the um, initial access as suspicious, but with the behaviors that you want. Um, so you can respond to this um, suspicious behavior um, because of your custom star rule and do further threat hunting on top of that. So that wraps up for part two of Caldera Adversary Emulation. Thank you for watching.